Dolphins fans, we have some breaking news. I have uh, stepped out of this bar where I'm watching March Madness uh, to get you guys a video. Dolphins just made two signings, so be sure to go down and subscribe to the channel because regardless of where I'm at, I'm going to get you guys a video when the Dolphins make a move here. Uh, so the Dolphins have made two signings. We'll start uh, with Jake Bailey. Uh, they have signed the former Patriots punter. He was a pro bowler in 2020, uh, so he'll be the new starting punter here for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, right before that signing uh, uh, became official, uh, Thomas Morstead signed with the New York Jets. Uh, so I think a lot of us are going to be a little bit upset about that. We love Morstead, great locker room guy, did a good job as the Dolphins punter this year. He signed a one-year deal last offseason. I think the thinking with Morstead not bringing him back is they wanted to have a younger guy in the building. Uh, Morstead is approaching like 40 years old. I think he's 37 right now. Uh, Jake Bailey's 25. So, I mean, he could be the Dolphins punter here for the next 10 or 15 years. Uh, so I think that the thinking... I was talking just now with producer Nick Roloff, who is a big Patriots fan, uh, who does not think Jake Bailey's very good. Uh, but uh, he is a pro. He was a Pro Bowler two years ago. So uh, hopefully the Dolphins uh, know what they're doing there, letting Morstead walk and signing Jake Bailey. Uh, the initial report is that is, is that it's a one-year deal. Uh, so we'll we'll let you know if that's not the case and if it's a longer contract uh, but Jake Bailey's new starting punter uh, grade the signing type A, B, C, D or F I think it stings a little bit you know that, that Morstead signed with the Jets uh, I wish you'd have gone to literally any other team in the league uh, but Thomas Morstead is now a member of the New York Jets the second signing the Dolphins just made uh, was River Craycraft. So they have re-signed Craycraft to a one-year deal. Uh, after the Braxton Berrios signing, I did not know what the Dolphins were going to do with Craycraft or Sherfield. So they re-signed Craycraft to a one-year deal who uh, looked pretty good, I'd say, as the Dolphins' fifth wide receiver this past year. Uh, so they bring him back. He uh, was, you know, He's a Mike McDaniel guy. He played for the Niners when McDaniel was the O.C., uh, so he's going to stay in Miami, probably be the fifth wide receiver on this team. Uh, I do not, I, I, I don't know what this means for Scherf. I think Scherfield's gone. Uh, I do not think that they're going to bring Scherfield back, which is a little bit disappointing because he was outstanding. Is the Dolphins' number three wide receiver this past year uh, exceeded my expectations? I, I thought he was kind of on the bubble to make the team. He makes the team and kind of outplays. Uh, Cedric Wilson for that third wide receiver spot. Cedric Wilson certainly still a trade candidate. We'll see what they do with him. But the Dolphins wide receiver room right now looks like this. Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, uh, Braxton Barrio, Cedric Wilson, River Craycraft, Eric Azucanma. Uh, and then Freddie Swain, who they claimed off waivers. So, I mean, I don't know. If, I don't think all those guys can make the team. So, uh, I would be uh, pretty surprised at this point if they bring uh, Trent Sherfield back, which is a little bit disappointing. The Barrio signing I really like, as I said yesterday. If you haven't watched that video, be sure to check it out. Uh, but I really like the signing of uh, Braxton Barrios, and then I like bringing River Craycraft back as well. Uh, what's your one-word reaction to the Dolphins uh, signing River Craycraft, re-signing Craycraft? He is still a Dolphin. Let me know down in the comment section uh, what your one-word reaction is to that. I think a lot of y'all are screaming offensive line, Will. What's the latest on the offensive line? Well, we did have a report this morning from Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald that the Dolphins are exploring the possibility of signing George Fant, who is also a former Jet. The Dolphins have brought in a couple of Jets here uh, during free agency. Um... I wouldn't hate it. I mean, I think he's he's better than Austin Jackson is, is a right tackle option. Uh, they'd probably bring him in to compete with A.J., and then if A.J. beats him out, he'd be the backup swing tackle. Uh, but George Fant was not very good this past season in New York. Now, he's had success in the league before, uh, which makes me a little bit optimistic about that possibility. Uh, but he struggled this past season in New York. He also missed eight games due to an injury. 
Uh, so there's some question marks around him. Uh, he's aging as well. Uh, but still, I mean, I just want them to do something at right tackle. You cannot have Austin Jackson be the guy without at least a little bit of competition. Uh, now, Barry Jackson also said uh, that bringing back Brandon Shell is a possibility as well. And I would love to bring Shell back as the backup swing tackle. I don't know how I feel about him starting. Uh, but he did a serviceable job, man, is the right tackle, uh, stepping in uh, when A.J. was out. And, and he only gave up, I think, two sacks all year. Uh, so I was impressed with the job that Shell did uh, this past season. I would like to bring him back as a backup swing tackle. But George Fant certainly appears to be an option. Now, uh, <laughs> I was talking on Twitter about this earlier. Jonah Williams uh, requested a trade from Cincinnati. Cincinnati signed Orlando Brown to be the left tackle. And uh, Jonah Williams wants out of Cincinnati. And, you, you know, you might be saying, well, Will, you know, if he wants out of Cincinnati because he's not going to be the left tackle, why would he want to come to Miami and be the right tackle? Here's what I would say to that. You pay him left tackle money to be the right tackle. And Jonah Williams would probably be very interested in coming to Miami uh, because uh, he played with Tua Tungabailo at Alabama. He played with Waddle at Alabama. He knows those guys. He blocked for Tua at Bama. Uh, he's played right tackle before. He was a right tackle his freshman year at Alabama. So I think this makes a lot of sense. Uh, now, can the Dolphins afford him? Probably not. Uh, but if they trade a second-round pick next year or a first-round pick next year, maybe it would be enough to land uh, Jonah Williams, who's a really solid tackle. Uh, Orlando Brown's obviously off the market. I just mentioned him. Kayla McGarry, Mike McGlinchey. A lot of guys we talked about are no longer available. So you have uh, Jonah Williams. Here's an option as a trade target. Uh, I'm intrigued, quite frankly. I'm very intrigued. Uh, do you want to trade for Jonah Williams? Type T for trade or P for pass down in the comment section. Go down and let me know. But just to recap the news from today, uh, number one, Jake Bailey's been signed. He's going to be the new starting punter. Number two, River Craycraft is back. He'll probably be the fifth wide receiver or at the very least compete for that job. Number three, the Dolphins are exploring uh, right tackle options with Noah Fant uh, potentially uh, coming to Miami. We'll keep you posted there. Number four, Jonah Williams of the Cincinnati Bengals has requested a trade. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But appreciate you guys watching. I want to keep you all up to date. It's my off day. I'm enjoying some March Madness. My bracket is on life support because I had Arizona in the championship game. I also had Xavier in the Final Four, though, so them surviving was huge. And uh, I have Pitt making a little run, and they're destroying Iowa State right now. So the, brackets, the bracket could be better, could be worse. Uh, I think Miami plays today, right? I have Miami beating Drake, so hopefully the Canes get it done. I know a lot of y'all are all about the U. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Willie Finns reporting here from the Nodding Donkey, Dallas, Texas. Uh, enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Enjoy March Madness. If the Dolphins make any other moves, I'll let you guys know. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications.